new report and a major alert about the speed of climate change on this planet. Hundreds of scientists from around the globe saying today there is evidence that global warming is accelerating. Sea levels rising, greenhouse gases mounting, glaciers melting. And for the first time, a government-backed report links the recent wild weather to man-made causes. So is this a kind of tipping point? ABC's weather editor Sam Champion begins by breaking it down for us. The extreme weather of 2011. Oh gosh, that is a monster tornado. The worst drought in a decade. Even the recent headline of the hottest 12 months we've ever lived through. All are a global concern. Areas of the world are getting hotter and drier. Flood zones getting pummeled. Extreme weather becoming the rule, not the exception. And according to many scientists, global warming is a cause. What we know really well about global warming is that it increases the likelihood of more extreme events. Today, hundreds of scientists from 48 countries released their annual State of the Climate report, which shows the trend toward a rapidly warming planet has been accelerating. The study examined headlines like rising temperatures both on land and in our oceans and examined disappearing sea ice. 2011 showed the second smallest area of ice on record. Also noting glaciers around the world continue to shrink. Greenland has one of the largest ice bodies in the world and pictures now show Greenland's glaciers are melting 30 times faster than they were a decade ago. Over the last century, sea levels have risen about 10 inches, but by 2050, scientists predict the levels will increase another foot. If that holds true, parts of cities like Miami and New Orleans will be underwater. For the first time in its history, this study says 2011 weather extremes are connected to man-made global warming. This study does not make predictions for the future, but it begs the question, have we reached the tipping point? Scientists tell us, not yet. There may not be a tipping point this year or next year, but the odds just keep growing. And it's one of these problems where the sooner you deal with it, the easier it is. And I want to turn to Sam Champion right now. So, Sam, how did they link this to man-made causes for the first time? In looking through the report, Diane, the one thing they won't do is say that that particular thunderstorm or that particular flood event was caused by global warming. But what they do say is that all of these greenhouse gases are on the rise at the largest and highest levels that they've seen since they've been keeping records. Uh, carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide. They also, also say that they were not able to detect natural rises in greenhouse gases. So these are man man-made gases they're seeing and not natural For the first gases. time, that's what the report says. Now, we heard it's not yet the tipping point, so still time to do something? Well, in my, if you want my opinion, Diane, what I would say is now's the time that we start limiting man-made greenhouse gases if we're starting to see that that is exactly what other studies are showing.